Considering how prevalent rape cases are getting in developing parts of the world, there's a concern that most of the victims of sexual violation may, be, may never be known. Now, this is because in most parts of the world, including Nigeria, victims of rape are blamed for their misfortune. Now, New Central's Austin Azu tells us more. In Delta states, the punishment for rape is life imprisonment without an option of fine. That's what the law provides after a suspect is convicted. As severe as some people consider this punishment, there is a debate on whether or not it could make up for the permanent damage done to the psyche of the victim. Any victim that has been raped, the image is being tarnished. Most people feel that once you are a victim, you should shy away, you should not talk about it, there will be stigma. Due to the societal perceptions and stigmatization, many victims of sexual violation live and die in silence instead of speaking out. Though a segment of the society feels otherwise because they believe that rape victims must have done something to trigger the crime committed against them. Most rape victims have been found to have nothing to do with why they were violated, hence the need for empathy and not stigmatization. Rape leads to erratic behavior and many other things. Some people are not even able to live in marriages because they were raped as minors. So I don't look at them as victims, I see them as survivors and whatever help I can give to survival, that's what I do, I give to them. Whether it's enlightenment, whether... With an understanding of the effect of rape on victim psychology, the Delta State Government is prepared to assist those who do not succumb to the societal pressure of silence. Delta State Government is working very, very hard to make sure that these victims are rehabilitated. So it has gone further to create three SAC centers, known as referral centers, where we refer the victims of rape to. There is one in Ash. In fact, the three senatorial districts have three SAC centers. At the Asaba Specialist Hospital, where the survivors are given medical and psychological attention, the chief medical director further provides more information on services the hospital render. The rape cases goes beyond just uh, giving medical attention. So we also offer, in the centre, we offer counselling, we offer um, support for those who require um, police service to pursue the case and also for those who require the services of a lawyer. No doubt, the conversations surrounding sexual violation have been increasing over the years. Those who have personal experiences still prefer to remain silent in order to avoid judgment of society. This fear increases the risk of living with trauma and depression. Experts say that until this societal bond is untarred, more victims that deserve empathy and help will never be known. Austin Azu, News Central, Asaba.